Hey YouTube, what's good and welcome back yet again. Today we have a follow-up video to our plant link video and we have a deck profile as well as like a little mini remote dual report. But firstly to start off our combo, I made a small optimization compared to the first video. So this combo, just a quick demonstration, Scorpio and any extender in the game, not in Ecclesia, but yeah, any extender in the game. So, you know, Opera Scorpio, discard a monster, summon Cobra, Cobra effect, get this infusion, and then link to, into Jasmine. And then, you know, summon whatever extender you want in the game, it's fine. Jasmine effect, tribute that monster, or the Lone Fires. We can go through all three of the Lone Fires into Sport. And then, new card that I can't believe I didn't think of, Cross Sheep. I mean, no brainer, right? Instant Fusion, activate Instant Fusion, so we go see Monster with Theseus. So I'll trigger our cross sheep to summon back a monster out of our grave. So we get to back our lone fire blossom. We tribute lone fire for Giga Plant, and then it's pretty much the same as before. Just a bit different. So we go Link Cross, get our link tokens, Link Cross and Theseus into Hagi Firebrax. Hagi Firebrax effect activates. Violent Cube. Link token, Violent Cube. Herald of Arclight. Get Supervise. Equip Gigabyte. Supervise onto Giga Plant, summon back Lone Fire, activate it again. Summon Mardell, generator out of the deck, search Rose Girl. And then, do -do 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 -do, Giga Plant and Needle Fiber, Anaconda. That'll trigger our Rose Girl to summon, as well as Supervise will summon back Giga Plant because of the normal monster, Gemini, and then Giga Plant. And Rose Girl for Croc uh, Arcathus, we draw a card and then we can stack them for VFD. And then because Giga Plant's in our grave, we can banish Giga Plant for our Spore. So Spore becomes a level seven. So we can go level seven and level one for Borrowload Savage Dragon, activate his effect, equipping a Link 2 out of the grave. And then finishing off our combo, Anaconda, send Red Eyes. Banishing our fusion material because that's fine for Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. So that's a much better two card combo than the previous video. It just goes to show that you should never stop optimizing. Anyway, guys, let's just jump straight into the deck profile. Okay, guys, so here we go. What I call Plant Link. Um, so I guess to start, I tested this with a friend of mine. He was playing uh, Shadow Dogmatica, and I think the testing went quite well. I was winning much more than what I thought I would. Like I thought I'd be bricking and my deck would well, be doing pretty badly, but it actually worked out pretty well because it turns out having strong one card combos can just win your games sometimes. And then I played in a, you know, official remote duel with my locals. Some very strong players. Lots of Infernoble, lots of Dragon Link in this, uh, you know, in, the, in this tournament. You know, four rounds, one, three, lost one. And the game that I lost was very close against Dragon Link, you know, lots of trading back and forth. Into game three, where it just came down to the final card that he could clutch it over me. But anyway, so this deck really took me by surprise at how well it did. And then a lot of my initial card choices actually came up. And a lot of my additions from my earlier testing and my initial thoughts like immediately happened. So let's jump straight into the main deck. So it is 60 card. I guess it's a similar philosophy to Dragon Link that you have a lot of the same combos that end up in the same result and you just have a lot, a lot of cards to, to get there but you know it's a pile of bricks you play a lot of bricks and there are ways of fixing the bricks but there's some ways where you just can't so the idea is you don't want to draw the bricks that much or you want to draw like one brick in like a few okay cards anyway that's the logic really anyway so for the plant monsters three Scorpio because he's like your main card. The whole combo is uh, make Aroma Sophie Jasmine and any extender is your full combo. I play two Darling Tony and Cobra. Um, no one can tell me not to. I've had too many bad experiences with this engine in the past where I just brick horribly because I draw this and I play one. So whatever, I'm playing two and no one can stop me. It's absolutely fine. Um, and then same thing, three Lone Fire, uh, three Evil Thorn. Don't know what Evil Thorn does. You tribute one to some of the other two out of your deck. And then you burn them for 300. Uh, it's just a one card. Jasmine. <laughs> Summon it off one for one. Uh, it's really, really, really nice. 
and then three of the new card from Eternity Code, Rose Girl. Uh, again, if a plant monster you control is sent to the graveyard, you can just special summon it out of your hand. And then if it's in, in your grave and you control a plant, you, you can add it back to your hand, but you can only do one effect per turn. So, I mean, it's needle fiber, fuel on steroids, what more can I say? Like, your initial plays threaten Jasmine and needle fiber, and then you threaten, like, making a herald into anaconda, so... I think it's pretty, pretty nice. Anyway, so the one-off plants. Pick a plant. Spore, Mardell, uh, Flowerbot, Wood Champion, and Rose Lover. So Spore's obvious combo. Gear plant with Supervise, Mardell, level 9, Happy Mech BFD. Flowerbot is when it's sent to the grave, you draw a card and then you put a card in your hand top of your deck. So it can help you put back Red Ice Fusion or other bricks. Uh, World Caraway Champion, when it's in your deck, you can send a plant in your hand or your field to the graveyard. Just special summon it out of the graveyard. So it's important that it's level 4, it helps you make Dugaris in the previous combo video. As well as just get some plants out of your hand. You know, if you draw cards like this, 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 and then you can summon them back later. And then Rose Lover. Same thing, you banish it out of the grave, summon a plant out of your hand. So it's a very unusual conditional extender, but I'm, gl again, I'm, I'm glad I played all three of these cards because they all came up, especially Flowerbot, actually did shuffle back a Red Eyes Fusion. It's really nice. And then we play Unexpected Die, so play Trumpeteer and Jerry Beans Man. Ideally, this can be any vanilla plant you want. Uh, it could be another Ancient Trumpeteer, ideally, but it's funny to use Jerry Beans Man. Okay, so those are all the plant cards that I use. And then we just have generic extenders. So Tenyi Adhara, if I could play six of this, I would. Uh, it's just a couple of dangers, because again, your whole combo is make Arume, Seraphi, Jasmine, and have extenders to keep going. And then an interesting engine, I chose to run. Again, glad I did. Two damage juggler, hat trick, uh, and trick clown. Um, the idea is you, you discard a monster off Opera Scorpio. So you want you can actually discard these three and not lose out on too much, as well as go into Hat Tricker again, help you extend your plays and push through in case some cards get stopped in hand traps. All right, speaking of hand traps, three Ash, three Gamma, and Driver because well, you have to play them, or sometimes you're you're not playing at all. It's just unfortunate how it is. Um, you know, usually one isn't enough, but sometimes it is, and it wins you that game. And then I guess Violin Cube, Brick, and Dark Magician, Red Eyes. Because we're playing a um, Dragoon deck. Actually, Anaconda in this deck is double important, but I'll get into that Y in the extra deck. Okay, spells. So three die, three Water Legacy Succession. Just because Lone Fire Blossom is not once per, per turn, drawing this card is sick. Like, it's your extender if you make Seraph, uh, Aroma Seraph, which doesn't you just play this and you just do your yoko your, your combo or middle of your combo something back to learn fire or yeah all right so supervise for the violin cube and also living fossil for the violin cube if you draw either one of these you can just touch your other one uh living fossil is surprisingly good again it's just another extender to trigger jasmine i'll keep saying it uh so the one of spells red eyes fusion of course the limited instant fusion don't play ultra poly they don't need to uh, one for one, foolish, monster reborn, standard, limited spells. Uh, three talents because we're playing a combo deck, and this can really help you keep going. And two droplet. Ideally, in hindsight, looking back, this could just be impermanence. Um, kind of underperformed, but it, it does feel nice to have like a top deck in your deck to out really broken fields. But I think moving forward, I'm going to play some imperms. Anyway, so that's for the main deck. Um, then for the extra deck. And then I know that these sleeves are not really, they're, they're not legal to play, but they, they look nice. Uh, Jasmine, Needle Fiber, Anaconda, Cross Sheep, Link Cross, and Access Code for the Link Monsters. So I guess the point I wanted to make about Anaconda is that sometimes if you just have three monsters, or like say if you have like four monsters, you can actually turn any two into Anaconda. And then if you have like another plant, you can turn the plant and an Anaconda into Jasmine. And then you can trigger Jasmine that way. And then later on in your turn, you can use cards like Giga Plant, where they can see succession to something back Anaconda and use its effect. So that's why you could even arguably play two of this. But I only found room for one. Uh, again, Cross Sheep was for the Instant Fusion combo, and Access Code is just the uh, turn two, turn three to finish them off. 
Um, again, I used all those cards, all very good. Uh, Synchro's Formula for combo, Arclight for triggering Well and Cube. I think Coral Dragon. Uh, I guess Coral Dragon, in theory, I didn't make this once, but in theory, it's when you have Lincross and Sea Monster of Theseus of the Instant Infusion. Before you make Needle Fiber, you can actually climb up into this, clear a card, and draw a card when it leaves the field. It's really nice. And it also chain, blo chain blocks uh, Needle Fiber if you make it like that. That's also really good. Um, you can also make it if you draw, you know, if you're comboing off and you have a uh, Rose Girl and like uh, Opera Scorpio or Darlington and Cobra, you can make it like that as well. It didn't come up, but it, ne it nearly did. Savage and Croc Dragon Arcathus to make BFD or True King or Calamities with. The Fusions, Theseus and Dragoon, quite obvious. And then Exceeds, Dugaris and True King or Calamities feel combo. And I guess I'll quickly flash my side deck, but it's not that good because I will side decks change a lot. So when I go first, Combo the Grave, Imperial Order, 3 Anti Spell, just to slow down the game state, slow down my opponent's broken spells are really broken, you know, Dark Ruler no more, stuff like that. A lot of decks are very spell reliant. <laughs> Call by the Grave just for when I know I'm going first and based on what my opponent's playing, because most people can play cards that can't be Call by the Grave. That's just my logic with that. So I guess to side cards like this in, you would side out. If you don't need droplets, if you don't need uh, if, you, if you don't need gamma, you can side these in instead. And all the going second cards. So back row killers. Duster, two storm, reboot, uh Pancratops. Again, at my locals there wasn't many back row players, but it's just there because you have to do it. Um and then Rounding up more hand traps, three Nibiru and two Fanta. Uh, I kind of want to play more Fanta moving forward because I guess the idea in this deck for when you go second is you take out your dies, your die target, your Tenu Spirit at Hara, and you put in like Nibiru's Fanta Pank because all those cards don't work with these cards, but these cards' power levels are really high, especially with how the format's going. You can actually drop Fanta to draw more than two cards sometimes. So that's why I want to play three, especially because this deck plays so many bricks. If you go if you go second, you actually fix your hand quite a lot just by playing Fanta. So maybe moving forward, maybe I will cut uh, maybe call by the grave or one anti spell for a third Fanta. I think that's pretty good because again, you, you just need this to fix your hand, and Nibiru's power level is too high. And yeah, combined with maybe changing the droplets for Imperms, have the necessary hand trap lineup to I guess fight against the metagame because decks are pretty crazy right now especially Info Noble Dragon Link oh man they they do what this deck does but a bit better uh, I guess the advantage that this deck has over other decks is you have access to True King of All Calamities VFD uh, it's probably one of the hardest cards in the game to play through or play around so that you have it or you don't <laughs> um, so yeah guys that's my deck profile shout out to CodecFactory.com if you like what you see like, comment and subscribe Thanks for tuning in once again, and hopefully we can hit that 1500 subscriber mark, and thank you guys for listening as usual. Ryan signing out for Jonga. Peace.